Hey guys, Big Johnny G. Check this out, baby. Woohoo! Man, is it ever nice back here. Look at this yard, man. Last time I mowed was with my new Time Master, Toro Time Master 30 inch, rear wheel drive, push mower. Man, it was nice. You can see what that green county ferts man rgs humic 12 micro green um green effect uh air eight that's what i'm putting on here malorganite now i did put a lesco on here <coughs> excuse me uh a week or so ago or so um you know it was uh, i think it was a uh 18 24 14 something like that mpk but lesco is the is the uh is where i have to go to to get the professional stuff here site one sells it that's where we get all of our stuff had a, a deer get in on one of my uh gold riders couple of day a couple of nights ago got his horns in there and twisted her up baby that's what they'll do it'll be okay though but you can see man it's it's really really coming in nice let me show you the front check this front yard out man she is really starting to pop You know, it's been one of those things that uh, <clears throat> you really don't know. You really don't know what's going on until you watch these guys, the professionals, uh, on YouTube. And the reason why I say that is, is I thought that I knew what I was doing. I didn't have I didn't have a freaking clue, dude. And I know now what happened in my front yard. If you go back and if you want to go back and look at some of my earlier videos that I shot um, in my front yard back here uh, when I was using the Sun Joe, pulled all that off. It looked like this right here. Let me show you what the, what. The, what this back here looked like, looked like this. That's what my front yard used to look like. Right there. The whole front yard. I took the Sun Joe and pulled all that off of there. And now, this is what, that's what she looks like now, baby. Woo-wee. Yeah, I'm tickled to death with it, man. But that's just thanks to these guys like the Ginger and Pete and Paul, Alan, Ryan. You know the you know the the, the next product videos, uh, DIY videos that are out there. That's guys. This is the fruits of their labor. Um, I'm the I, I'm, I'm the uh, typical guy that's out here watching their videos and doing what they suggest. And there's results in it. Um, as a matter of fact, when I got my uh, Time Master in this weekend, come out and did a mow on my yard, I had to stop two or three times and talk to neighbors that wanted to talk to me about my grass. And I don't think it looks that great. Uh, it's a lot greener than anybody else's yards here. It's not as full as I'd like, but I have overseeded it, and there's a bunch of new grass still coming in. Next spring, it should be fine. I'm pretty much done uh, with all my my, my fall uh, and, and winter uh, fertilization. I'm just going to sit back now and watch it grow. Uh, then in uh, February, I'll start hitting it again with the Milo and start waking it up. I'm going to... Uh, 
I'm going to try the Carbon X as well. Um, but I, I do know one thing, and this is what this this is one thing that I have learned the mistake that I made this past summer, especially with all the heat we had here and no rain. Nitrogen. Because of the nitrogen that I was putting on my yard, that I was going by, you know, um, old myths or whatever without really doing my homework. Before I started watching the videos, because of the nitrogen that I put down, I created a fungus issue and didn't realize it until it was too late. So, also what I did uh, when I put all that, when I put my, my RGS humic and stuff out, I also put down a fungicide. Uh, man, that, that stuff is expensive, dude. So I did put it out, and I can already tell a difference. Um, now next spring, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to hit the herbicides pretty good, man. I've got Bermuda here in this front yard. I have got Nuts Edge, um, Crabgrass, you name it, man. I've got, I think... I don't really stand a chance with all these vacant lots around me and everything growing up. We have goldenrod all around the back. I mean, when that stuff seeds out and getting wind, I mean, it's just going to blow in the yard. So it's a, it's a constant battle. But I know it's not one that I'm just facing. Watch one of Pete's videos today. I mean, he's seeing stuff show up in his yard he's never had. It's just like moss. He said he'd never had moss in his yard before. And he had it uh, this year. So, man, I'm I'm just... I'm just a, a, an old West Virginia boy that's out here really trying to have the uh, nicest yard in my neighborhood. And I believe if I continue to follow what these guys are telling me to do and suggesting and their, their, their lawn care treatment programs, that, uh, uh, that, that I will have the nicest yard year round. And, and I will make it through next summer a lot better than I made it through this one now that I know how to prepare in the spring to get my grass healthy and ready for that three month devastating heat period that we have here in this area but anyway uh man this is big johnny g and uh i just wanted to sh show you what uh where we're at so far but anyway this is big johnny g i'm out